we now find the area of the shaded region uh, that is uh, we have to find the area between the two curves uh, the first one is y equal to x and the second one is y equals uh, x squared minus 3x plus 3 so the top curve which is y equal to x is basically a straight line passing through the origin and the bottom curve is a parabola that is uh, opening upwards and so to determine the area between these two curves first we need to find the points of intersection of these two curves so that uh, we, once we know the points of intersection we can uh, find the limits of the integral so let's uh, find the points of intersection for this we have to solve these two equation that is uh, we have one equation y equal to x and another equation y equals uh, x squared minus uh, 3x plus 3 and now I can replace this expression y equal to x into the second equation. So therefore this becomes uh, x equals x squared minus uh, 3x plus 3. Now let's subtract uh, x from both sides and then I rearranged as uh, x squared minus uh, 4x plus 3 and this equals uh, 0. This is basically a quadratic uh, uh, equation which we can factorize as a product of linear terms that is uh, x minus 3 times uh, x minus 1 and this equals uh, 0 because uh, when we multiply negative 3 with negative 1 we get positive 3 that is uh, this product term and when we add negative 3 with uh, negative 1 we get negative 4 which is this term so this is perfect now we can solve for x uh, from this equation that is uh, x minus 3 equals uh, 0 or x minus 1 equals uh, 0. So here we get uh, x equal to 3 and uh, here we get uh, x equal to 1. So basically the two points of x are uh, 1 and 3. So therefore we can see that uh, this point A, this is uh, 1 comma 0 and then this point B is uh, 3 comma 0. So we know the limits of the integration. Now we can replace the formula to find the area between the two curves. So let's say, suppose uh, we have uh, two curves as like this. Let's say this is the top curve f of x and uh, this is the bottom curve g of x. And these two intersect uh, at this points, that is uh, from uh, a to b. And uh, we want to find the area between these two curves. Uh, the the formula to find the area between these two curves is given by the integral area equals uh, integral of uh, a to b these are the limits of x that is x equal to a to x equal to b and then the top curve which is uh, f of x minus the bottom curve g of x and we also take its uh, absolute value so basically this is the formula which we utilize to find the area between the two curves so in our question the top curve we consider as uh, y equal to x this is the top curve that is uh, f of x and the bottom curve is the parabolic uh, equation that is uh, this is considered as uh, g of x now let's uh, plug in this f of x and g of x into the formula so therefore we see that uh, area of uh, shaded region this equals uh, we put the limits of x so for our problem the limits of x are from 1 to 3 so I put uh, x equal to 1 from uh, x equal to 3 and then we also put the absolute value of f of x is basically y equal to x so I just uh, replace f of x as x minus uh, g of x equals uh, x squared minus 3x plus 3 so I put this g of x in brackets that is x squared minus 3x plus 3 and uh, this has to be uh, in absolute value. So we have to evaluate this integral. Let's simplify this first. I put this from 1 to 3 as it is understood that it is from x equal to 1 from x equal to 3. Now this is uh, we have x here and uh, we have a negative of 3x but uh, since we have a negative this is basically positive 3x so x plus uh, positive 3x equals uh, 4x so 
and the other terms will become negative. This is uh, negative x squared and uh, plus 4x and this negative with positive 3 will become negative 3. So we take its absolute value and then we have to integrate it. So we can now integrate this. So therefore this becomes uh, uh, integral from 1 to 3. We can consider this uh, separate integrals as like this plus uh, 4 times of integral from 1 to 3 x dx you can also put it under absolute value uh, negative 3 times of integral from 1 to 3 this is just uh, 1 dx so this equals uh, when we apply the power rule of integral this will become negative of x cube divided by 3 because we have the power equals 1 so it is equal to negative of x uh, raised to the power of 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 which equals uh, negative x cube divided by 3. So I put uh, negative of x cube divided by 3 and this has to be evaluated from 1 to 3 plus uh, 4 times of uh, integral of uh, x is uh, basically x squared divided by 2 and this has to be evaluated from 1 to 3 and then finally we have 3 times of integral of 1 dx is uh, x. Once again, this has to be evaluated from 1 to 3. So, let's uh, apply the limits now. When we apply the upper limit, this will become negative 3 cube divided by 3 minus uh, when we apply the lower limit, this will become negative 1 cube divided by 3 plus uh, this is basically 2x squared. So, 2 times of uh, apply the upper limit 3 squared minus lower limit which is 1 squared and negative 3 times of apply the upper limit which is 3 and the minus of the lower limit 3 minus 1. So let's evaluate this. So this equals uh, negative 27 divided by 3 and uh, we have this is uh, negative of 1 cube is negative 1 by 3 but uh, since we have a negative this will become positive 1 by 3. So I put uh, positive 1 by 3 plus uh, 2 times of this is 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. So it is 2 times of 8 minus 3 times of 3 minus 1 equals uh, 2. So let's simplify this. This equals uh, negative. We have the common denominator 3. So I can write this as negative 27 plus 1 over 3 plus 2 times 8 is uh, 16 sorry this is 16 minus 3 times 2 is uh, 6 so this implies negative 27 plus 1 is uh, negative 26 by 3 plus uh, 16 minus 6 is 10 and so we can uh, simplify this we multiply the second term 10 by 3 and also divide by 3 so that we ma we make a common denominator and so this equals, uh, this is uh, negative 26 plus 10 times 3 is uh, 30 divided by the common denominator 3. And so this equals uh, 30 minus 26 is uh, 4 over 3. So the area between the two curves or the area of the shaded region is 4 thirds.